What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to Ham's Personal Hell on Earth, Episode 3. Yes, with some Chiba Robers <laughs> getting some cleaning on while we uh, talk to random toys in this weird Japanese toy story <laughs> mix mash type of weird bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. But um, Speaking of Japanese, as we get into this episode... There's a Japanese store that I want to visit at some point, and I think you would like it. Oh. So their version of Goodwill mm-hmm. is called Hard Off. Oh, that sounds pleasant. It sounds <laughs> it's, like it's a short for hardware. Hardware. Hardware offload. Is what it's hardware called. offload. Okay. <laughs> hard off. Hard off. <laughs> it's That's a chain great. of stores too, because there's like book off, hard off. Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Off Town is one of them. It's like a Target type of thing. Be funny if there's a door store and it was called <laughs> Knock Off. <laughs> Don't forget to switch the thumbnail. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Ta-da! Ta-da! That's, oh, my God. Should I have switched that earlier? No, it's fine. Do you want to restart? No, it's good. Okay, we'll just go with this then. <laughs> <laughs> Earl's going to be watching this like, Oh, my God, I can't believe they did <laughs> I can't believe they did that. I love leaving that kind of stuff in because it shows the type of people we are. <laughs> exactly. Let's, we are not perfect by any means. No, no. We're far from it. But if you only knew how many fuck-ups it takes me every day just to get my stream mm. started, you would, uh, <laughs> you would question my reality. <laughs> we're constantly changing our settings back and forth. It's such a hassle. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. What are we doing now? We are... um Going in the living room. Yes, that's true. You know what we need to do is go back down to the basement. Yeah, to get that uh, battery charger. The battery. Battery. We got to get the battery charger. Um, and then um, once we start that kind of little part of the mission, uh, we can try to explore some more of the house because um, uh, there's a hole upstairs. Oh. Aww. How is she sitting like that? She's just breaking her legs. <laughs> That's why she's crying. Because both her legs are broken. I mean, you know. Tears! <laughs> On the battlefield! Yeah. <laughs> it's nowhere they belong. Soldiers don't cry. Oh, you know what? There's something up here we can get. I just like how he tosses his little plug down. There we go. Oh wait. Yeah, there's something we can get up here, right? Yes. You know, it's a picture. If you think about it, the amount of content we as a group put out every week is ridiculous. It really truly is. <laughs> I was going through my videos the other day to sort by most viewed, and uh, I went to hit sort, and it took a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like it seriously had to sit there and, and sort for a minute. I was like, oh geez. For a minute, I thought my phone was gonna have to. Uh, I was gonna have to close out of the app and pull it back up or something. But Your phone just like blue screen. Yeah, it's like uh, I can't handle it. This is your fault. Two, many, nose lights. <laughs> my last nose light actually went pretty well. I'm really close to um, uh, gem number eight. As the recording of this episode, I haven't recorded this week's nose light yet. Mm. That's coming. What we'll probably do is in a minute here, you and I will both go and do our nose lights after we eat. Because I want, I want to do another nose light today. I probably need to record two episodes. <coughs> Having two episodes in the barrel is a good idea, just because of like weeks mm. like last week. Yeah. Mm. Well, then like I'm so close, I'm just egging to get like, <laughs> you yeah. know, everything ready. You excited to get to Gen two? Yes, dude. I'm so freaking excited. I've been playing um, Gen 2 um, on the DS. Um, the and one I gave you? Mm-hmm. Heart Sweet. Gold. It's been preparing me for uh, Gen 2 on the uh, Game Boy. I had two copies of Heart Gold, so whenever I moved down here, I was like, cheese, here. I'll mm-hmm. bestow this copy upon you. <laughs> right. You take this. Oh, here's your buddy. <laughs> Yar, belay, you foolish chatter. Oh, this guy. You're a cheating, lying demon crab. Oh. Cheating? How rude. 
You fell because your soul has not been properly cleansed. Do you take me for a brainless piece of kelp? I know ye decided whether ye eye opens or closes, ye filthy bowel rat. That is untrue. A person with a pure soul would be able to see this clearly. Me soul is as clean as the waters of the Sandy Pete's Blessed Harbor. Mm. Yar, one more time, ye scurvy scum. There's no way the King of Pirates is allusion to some half-baked sea cucumber. Oh. <coughs> Betting. Get on with it, you scallywag. Hmm, how frightening. Very well, I shall begin. Everything is nothing. Wow. Reach out with your soul. Feel. Let it flow to my right eye. Will it open? Or will it remain closed? What do you feel? Will it open? Yeah. Last time it was your port side paper, paper, and this time before that the starboard. Mm. Yeah, ye shall open the eye, says I. Are you certain? As certain as the tides do ebb and flow, it'll open. I tell ye. Glug glug glug. <laughs> Water. You are with me, ain't ye? <laughs> I'm gonna say no. Curses! <laughs> That's what I get for trusting the undersized boat hook. Mm. Are you certain? You are. Me pirate's word is good as me gold. Very well. <laughs> oh, it stayed closed. It, it opened. opened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It opened. I tell ye. But it's your left eye. How unfortunate. Don't play dumb, you miserable lifeboat leech. Mm. You're nothing but a liar and a thief. <laughs> yeah. Great Pico, great Cheeto is more like it. I'll have you clapped in the irons and kill hold. Mm. You're lucky I'm without me ship, you great blinking sea slug. I've had me fill of ye. So that's Pico. <laughs> and he's quite the character. I he, love that they make bets on whether or not he's going to open his eye. Right, which he has complete control over. <laughs> or or does he? I don't know. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe there's another world, otherworldly force at play here. But yeah. Um, and then I said no. And he's like, whatever. <laughs> but I was right. There we go. Now that we're past all that. <laughs> all right. Right, boys. So what we need to do is go ahead and we knock down this uh, cable earlier on our last playthrough. So zoop zoop zoop. Bum 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 bum. I have this music every time. Everything's mm -hmm. done. Also, you know what? Oh, we didn't quite get that stain. The old cheap daddy. Oh. We gotta clean up all the bird poop. Okay. Oh.
Sorry, microphone. <laughs> Sorry, headphone users. Ah. Uh -huh. And we're climbing. Alrighty. God, we were so close last time. This time, we are right on the money. We'll come back for the bird poop. Oh. God, that's such an angle. Ooh. It definitely is an angle. That's an angle right there. To some degree or another. <laughs> and... -na -na -na. Boppity bop. So Dakan. And there it is. The Giga Charger. Yar, that be it, says I. Mm. Do you truly mean to set Giga Robo to sailing once more? No. <laughs> of course, yes. Ah, Chibi. You're such a. a fool. <laughs> I got one thing for you to remember. Don't use the outlets in the house when you fill her up. <clears throat> You'll be drawing so much power that the poor Sandersons will go bankrupt. Mm -hmm. Causing the family hardship wouldn't sit well with the Giga Robo. Ain't that right? You giant can opener. Mm. That's what he is? A giant yeah, can. I almost forgot. Gigarobo be missing a leg and no peg leg neither. Mm. If your memory serves, Captain Sanderson put it in the quick, quick sort of treasure chest. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit dated. 2003. Yeah. <laughs> sort of steel trunk with a handle. Okie dokie. I literally was reading it and I was like, I'm not allowed to say that word on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, like, oh, um, can't do that. That's not allowed. Uh, and then you know what? Since we got time, I gotta go get stuff that's up there. But I gotta get power first. Yeah, now we got the Giga Charger. So what we do is we hook that back up in the Chibi Home and then mm -hmm. we actually pay for, um, like, allotments of power so we will um we'll go ahead and save again we'll go ahead and um get this re the rest of this stuff and then uh i can't remember how much i want to say it takes like ten thousand dollars to go ahead and charge it back up so that's why it's like we won't focus on that we'll focus on doing some other stuff and have that in the background we also can't do anything with him unless he has his foot, so. Ain't no peg leg, neither. Oh. This game just brings me back so much. It's such a magical <laughs> little game. All the little hidden pieces and parts. Yeah. Oh. And it's Nintendo, so you know what's funny is it kind of feels like a dungeon crawler. Yeah, sort of. It almost feels like like it's got some elements from like you know, like say like a Zelda game or something, whatever. All right. Kaboom! Money, money, money. <laughs> Ooh, three hundred macaroonies too. Nice. That's awesome. Okay. Why won't you let me? Hang on. Okay, there's nothing else around here except for that frog ring down there. So, let's get the frog ring. Also, what's... Uh, do you see that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Bink. Chibi Robo could have been a cool Smash character. I know, right? Except he'd be so small. Mm. But like Giga Robo and like Chibi Robo could be like a team. 
Oh, 400. Either that or they could put, like, they could do a version of Giga Robo where Chibi Robo is, like, inside of his chest piece, like, controlling Giga Robo. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That'd be a cool way to, um, uh, like, resell Chibi Robo, would be, like, have him still Chibi and have him be able to do stuff, but then have him be able to interact with other, like, Robo. mechs. Yeah, and, like, be able to, like, have, like, a. Like a mech, or like a like a get like a tank or something like, kinda a, like he, He's basically like a small Gundam. Yeah, kind of. But then, like you know, make it to where it's like you know they wouldn't be like mechanized soldiers or something. They would just it would just be like um, it would just be like uh, what am I trying to say? Um, it'd be like utility based stuff. Mm -hmm. you know? Up the stairs we go. Thank God for these little nooks <laughs> that nobody has in their stairs ever. I don't know what these things My are. My mom's basement stairs kind of look like that. Really? Yeah, they have the little things on each step like that. Mm. I think it's to like mount them into the wall. It's for the chibi robos. <laughs> <laughs> so they can go up and down. Because her, uh, her basement steps have no bottom on it, just like those. Like where there's mm. nothing like pushing it to the floor. Right. Gotcha. Look at this dude. <laughs> what a dude. And there they are together. I love how he's just doing the same pose. I know, in in both pictures. <laughs> yeah. He always does that that same pose in every picture he That's takes. His picture fucking pose. Yeah. Alright, say cheese, and he's like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do my pose! <laughs> <laughs> no wonder his marriage is failing. <laughs> right. Oh. Dabu, 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 dabu. Ribbit, ribbit. Come here, ribbit. No, my mom's house stairs don't have these. Yeah, no, these are just strange. And then there's not one there. Oh. Help me. Help me up. Ribbit. And then she eats me. <laughs> this becomes a war video. It's, it's just immediately attack on Titan. <laughs> yeah. like, yum, yum, yum. Ginny, what are you doing up? Go back to your room and go to sleep. Ribba, oh. She looks so distraught. Night, Ribbit. She gave me kisses. Oh, yep. Oh. Right. Chibi Robo. What are you doing? Uh, Can't be kissing ah. underage girls like this. Yeah. <laughs> That's illegal. I see you're trying to reach the second floor. But these stairs are a problem, aren't they? There's nothing here that you can use as a ladder. Well, there are many ways, but you'll need some sort of uh, special equipment. Would the chibi copter not work? You can't go up. Oh. I'll look into it for you. Goodbye. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, I can't go up here. Yep, I have to um get a certain sort of um item to allow me to do that a utility bot in the meanwhile this is a mystery mouse tool that'll be useful later mm. it's a mystery oh yep yeah. i'll do it again <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can go into the kitchen there's here. somebody that shared a screenshot of that and then it was a picture of Mickey Mouse sticking a handgun into a backpack, and it said, "This is a mystery mouse tool. It'll be useful later." Oh my god, <laughs> mystery mouse tool, right? <laughs> yeah, kids, oh, oh, kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm gonna hide this in your backpack. Don't tell the cops. Oh, <laughs> don't tell your teacher. Oh. <laughs> that's it. That's a desert eagle, kid. Oh. <laughs> this is an XP-45 outlawed in school since Columbine. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you got a bully kid? Oh, boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. We got all those filthy dog It's one of those ones where like the kid's talking to their dad. Dad, I have a bully at school. And he's like, just hit him. Like, bullies are soft on the inside. They're weak. Mm. Then in the background, you hear Goofy. He's like, you can fucking shoot him. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll, I'll kill him for you. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Huh? Why did you just say Goofy? I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Goofy, you just got out on probation. Boom. <laughs> I got rid of that stick or. That stick or. 
taking all their money. Got a hundred, hundred coins. Boom. I like how part of the like background of this family is they're like kind of broke. Like their their finances aren't that great. But over here, I'm just taking all their money that they have like laying around their house. Well, I would imagine chibi money is different. Than it's normal human people money. It's uh, it's moolah. That's their kind of... Is that or like their coins are worth more to you than what it is to them. Right. Like you just picked up a hundred pennies, that's a dollar. Right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and I just broke my leg. But to you, you're like, jackpot. <laughs> yeah. This will come in handy. Okay. Don't break my legs. Oh, you know what? I have to break my legs. Well, actually, I don't have to break my legs, but... Oh, I'm gonna have to go back down. I lost too much energy. Dang it. <laughs> oh, it's this one. I do like some of the little sound like clips. Yeah. Like the mm. da -da -da, whenever you pick up your stuff. Right. I know it's so um it it's so indicative of games of that time. Like all the little customized sounds and everything. You know what confuses the crap out of me? Mm-hmm. They made a Chibi Robo Amiibo, huh. and they released it in the U.S. Hmm. I mean, but to be honest, like you look at like the cost as of as opposed to like the effectiveness or whatever, and it's like that makes sense. But they're not gonna put the cost back into like making another game or something. It's just weird because the game it, it it was made because there was a game coming out in Japan, right? But oh! then like, you know what, we'll release this to the American market as well, even though the American market doesn't enjoy Chibi Robo. Almost died. By our own stupid standards. Right, exactly. I just about died there. I hate these small little ledges. So somewhat controversial topic. Ah. Um I am a little bit underwhelmed with the switch. What say you? Mm, a little bit underwhelmed. Yeah. Um, We're I don't know. We're pretty far into its life cycle, and like it is not anywhere close to as good as like the Wii or the Wii U. I don't think. Well, I'll say this: like, it it really depends. I mean, like, if you ask Earl, she's like, "That's the it's the best thing that's ever." Well, this happened. is like her first like major console. Major though. console, right? Exactly. Um, so like, I could see how like for someone like Earl, it would be like a big deal. Um, but um. But yeah, uh, it's definitely... You are walking on nothing. I'm, I'm a magic man. You know what that's called, don't you? Hmm? I fell right through that. <laughs> you know what it's called when games let you walk on nothing like that? What's that? Uh, it's a gaming thing that they put in like so that you're not constantly falling and stuff. And it's called coyote time. Hmm. You can take so many steps off the edge of an object without falling. Gotcha. <laughs> It makes sense because you have to have like hard bounding boxes. Like you can't have like soft ones, or else it would just make things a nightmare. But anyway, as we were saying with the uh, major console thing, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm very underwhelmed. I mean, like I'll say this: I was pretty happy with the Switch, to be honest. I mean, but I, I was not like super. Beginning of the like, Switch was great. Mm -hmm. Like first couple years, you know what I mean. But I feel like this lighter cycle is not being good. I guess it just depends. I mean, like, definitely lately. But, like, um, I don't know. Part of that's also just because of COVID. I mean, they just haven't they haven't been really making any, any games because the studios have been closed. There's just nothing on the Switch in particular that I can't get on a different console. Right. <clears throat> well, another big thing about the Switch, too is um you know it's it's in its own little bubble very yeah. much so um so it is kind of weird because like a lot of the games are like exclusive to the switch or um like uh like you know they're like something that would only be on the switch but then you have a lot of games that are like ported over from a lot of stuff like remasters and everything well i mean like even the major selling point of the switch which is like breath of the wild you can get that on the wii u right Right, uh, Mario Kart 8. You get the deluxe version on the Switch with a couple extra characters and a couple extra tracks, but they have it on the Wii U. Like, 
the thing that could really set the switch apart is if you if they would have went like hard in the virtual console market right but instead they did this weird subscription based thing Mm -hmm. i don't know i'm just not a i'm not super high on it well the main thing is like with the wii u um they just they've completely abandoned it Mm -hmm. so it makes sense as to why they're going the direction they're going with uh, the Switch. I mean, that's just how Nintendo operates. They're like, okay, we had an idea, we did something, it didn't work out perfectly, so we're just going to abandon it completely, scrap it, and then we're going to move on to something else. And everybody else would be like, uh, ooh, uh, wait, wait a second, you know, hang on, you could, you know, but Nintendo's like, nah, no, we're okay. But another part of it, though, that kind of annoys me is like, if you're going to go the route of having like the Super Nintendo and the NES, uh, little apps or whatever that you can play the games on it mm-hmm. why would you not go the extra step and put the 64 and like the game boy advance and the game Co- game boy color and game boy on it because they're, they're planning things i mean that's just how nintendo is like they've probably got stuff planned out for the next four years and so like and i guarantee you in four years we'll see something like that it's just they're like that's like a uh, animal crossing they've got stuff planned out for like the next two years in animal crossing and that's just one game in the franchise so I think it just comes down to like they have a lot of stuff that they have planned that they want to do, but their 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 ability to plan is so bizarre. Like they they, they it's it you know it it's like kind of haphazard, you know. Mm-hmm. They kind of throw stuff back and forth. But yeah, either way, I mean, like I think they will. Um, but also, like, it begs, the, it begs the question of, like, especially, like, the Game Boy stuff. I think the only reason they haven't done a lot of stuff with the Game Boy is because, like, a lot of those IPs are still pretty fresh within people's minds. I mean, here, you look at the examples of, like, the stuff that they're putting on, um, putting on the, um, uh, market for the virtual consoles for the Nintendo, Super Nintendo and Nintendo system, mm-hmm. um, on the Switch. And they're either, like, A-list, like, names, like... Metroid and Super Mario and Donkey Kong, like things that have either been hashed out over and over or, um, you know, like things that aren't really being done anything with anymore, like dead IPs, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, And then, um, damn, we're getting a lot of money. Or super, super obscure stuff. And super obscure, yeah, exactly. Like stuff that was probably never released in the Americas to begin with. Yeah. So, like, that's their plan is they, they plan to dump all these old IPs that they're not going to do anything with anymore on these markets. And then, like, I think they're they're holding on to the other stuff because, like, you look at Link's Awakening. And, like, they uh, just came out with the remake for that. And you know, everyone went bonkers. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I think, you know, to be honest, I think what they're going to do is they're either going to do one or two things. I think they'll either a uh, remake Oracle of seasons and ages, and they'll do the same thing, maybe even the same studio and have them remake them, which I wouldn't even be surprised if they're doing that right now as we, as we speak or the sad, the, the, uh, like the, fl- the flip side to that whole scenario that's sad is that they'll just drop those games completely and that'll just be lost to time. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, Oh, it's a good stopping point, but we'll go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and see what comes of this. Where are we now? We might be in the top 500. Yeah, we're in the top 500. Not that we got a bonus or anything. I think when we get to top 100, we get another bonus. Gather and earn more happy points. Let's go. Oh, you're gonna. Oh yeah. Take out the Giga Charger you're carrying with you. Yes, that's it. Look at look at that. It's already bigger than you are, Chibi Robo. It's pretty very heavy. Quickly running out of space. Yeah, I know. Well, it'll like kind of combine with this thing. <laughs> Boom. Congratulations, Chibi Robo. You now have an espresso maker. Yep, a giant Keurig in your in your uh, little cabin thing. You know what that means? You can finally recharge the Giga battery. While you're here, Chibi Robo, would you like to save? Yes. And then, um, real quick, let me jump on here. I've got 3,200 smackaroonies. And we can buy some stuff with that. Um, what I need to do is I need to go ahead and buy 
two things. The range chip enables uh, longer distance shots. <clears throat> and then the nectar flower seed is something we're actually going to need later. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. And then we will save the rest. Ba -na -na -na. <laughs> Ooh. Upgrade time. Nice. You upgraded. Keep it up, Chibi Robo, and let's go. And then, um, oh my gosh. Asshole. And then, real quick, um, the charging. Let's check it out. Oh. I think you can probably charge it if you're willing to shell out the moolah. Looks like the Giga battery doesn't have an ener uh, any energy stored up at all. I think it's going to take a whole lot of juice to charge the Giga battery up, Chibi Robo. We can't charge it from the outlets in the house. That would break the family's bank. So let's say we do our best to save up some moolah and pay for it uh, from our own pockets. Do you want to charge it? Yes. 1,000 kilowatts equals 1,000 moolah. How many kilowatts do you want to charge it? Well, we're going to go ahead and do 1,000. We'll give it 1,000 kilowatts. Choink. And it spits out green juice. Green juice. Green juice. I kind of like stopped halfway through saying juice. I don't know why. <laughs> I think I was saying green goo and juice at the same yeah, I time. Yeah, that's what you were going for. And I had like a mental, I had like a episode. Green Jew. Green Jew. <laughs> J -U. That's, that's Jew. not anti-Semitic, by the way. But yeah, now we have some little little bit of juice in the battery. Oh, we can't zoom in while we're in the thing. Um, that makes sense because then we could boundary break <laughs> and look this way. Um, but um, but yeah, um, we I think we need... 10,000 kilowatts total so we're like a tenth of the way there sweet but all right well i'll tell you what we'll go ahead and save now again and then that should do it for this episode um yep i know okay i know yes i intend to do so thank you all righty um i gotta say something mm -hmm. I really enjoy having the little flat screen on the um, on the layout screen mm -hmm. and with the game in it. Like, even if the game, you know, it has these weird borders around it where it's like, it's, there's like a little bit of black spacing between the top and the bottom, mm -hmm. but that's just native. That's just how it would put out the image on like a screen like that you would have back in the day. And so I like that, like on the screen in the layout, it looks like that kind of looks like like an actual like it, we're playing it on a legit flat screen and it's like not quite the ratio it needs to be and everything mm -hmm. you know it gives it some character um but yeah uh so what's left in the game by the way we have to charge the giga battery um we have to at some point fight some dudes and get some scraps and recycle those scraps in order to make what's called utility bots. Mm -hmm. And one of those utility bots, the function will be getting us to the next floor. Okay. Um, and then I think another thing we got to do is go talk to. Um, oh, he's doing a dance. We got to go talk to uh, those egg dudes, the military ones, mm -hmm. and uh, they'll give us something to do. I think we have to go train with them. Okay. And when we do that, they give us like a set number of things that we do and some tasks to complete. And it should be fun. Well, we'll get into that next time. Well, we hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Um, be sure to keep tuned here to the Elite Four channel because we have new videos coming up Monday mm -hmm. through Friday every week. Go check out uh, twitch.tv slash Earl and Cheese Gaming. They have uh, streams coming up Monday through Friday there. And then from what time does she start? 12. 12 to 2. 12 to 2 yep. uh, Eastern Standard Time. So be sure to figure out what that is in your time and then from two to four over at uh, twitch.tv slash ham mm -hmm. you can see me monday through friday so be you know we have plenty of content coming out for you guys all the time oh yeah nuzlites back and forth uh streams out the wazoo 
and the Elite Four channel is giving you some straight drips of uh, <laughs> of good content. So. I am 100% positive we're putting out more than 24 hours of content every week. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's <laughs> yeah, it's at least 24 hours of content uh, every week. So, hell yeah. All right, man. We'll go ahead and close it up here. Thank you all for watching. And if you don't mind, if you liked it, go ahead and drop us a little like. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe and stick around for more of this. And we will be back. Bye. See you guys. Bye-bye, all. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait. There you go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>